down the street when I could first walk, which was about six months old. And then I learned how to skate, like pretty young. Um, I've been going to skate naked for a while. Yeah, we came up from Cincinnati this weekend, uh, brought the kids up to skate, and uh, it's been a fabulous experience. I mean, the guy, these guys, Chris and Brandon, that worked with the kids today, um, they did a great job with them. I mean, they learned a lot, uh, had a good time. All the skaters up here have been really super cool to everybody. Um, you know, very inviting. It's just a good atmosphere for the kids, and, and you know, there's not enough nice things I can say about it, really. You know, as a parent, you know, we're, we're up here, we're hanging out with them too, and you know, watching the kids progress and, and, and really, you know, Chris and, and Aaron, they spend a lot of time with the kids, a lot of individual time with them, and uh, they've just done a fantastic job, so we're really happy. So we've been coming here for about three years now. Um, Miriam, my daughter, she was curious about skating and what she actually said was, can girls skate? And I was like, YouTube, and pulled out YouTube, and was like, look at all these girls skating. Um, I'm like, of course girls can skate. Why can't girls skate? And she just, she had never seen girls skating. I'm like, well, let's go. Let's go find a place. And like a month later, we met Aaron, and he told us about Skate Naked out here, and lessons. And she won't miss a Sunday. She will not miss a Sunday. She gets, when do we get to see Erin? When do we get to see Erin? Um, it's something that she looks forward to the most during the week. And she's such an amazing role model, not just for Miriam, and building her confidence as a young person, as a young girl in a male-dominated sport. But what he does for all the kids here, it's, it's been amazing. And it really feels like a family. Yeah, it's a family here. 